Welcome to the Balanced Body Podcast. I'm Chantelle Lopez, co-owner of Pilates Collective in Sebastopol, California. And this is Melissa Kakavis, and she's going to be helping me today. We're going to be doing a very basic, very simple exercise called pelvic clocks. Now, you've probably done pelvic clocks in some form before, but today we're going to be working with specific imagery to go deeper into the lower abdominals and to get deeper low back relief. So Melissa's going to go ahead and lie down just in this constructive rest position, knees bent, feet flat. The goal here is to do less rather than more so that we can go deeper into the abdominals and get deeper articulation or movement and control out of the pelvis. So essentially establishing more relief if you have low back pain. All right, so let your feet come away from you just a little bit. So the breath can be whatever you want it to be because you want to make sure that this feels really nice and that you're not thinking about too many things, especially because we're going to be working with a specific image. So if you can imagine your pelvis as a bowl, the base of the bowl is the part of the pelvis that you're resting on. So it's the part of the pelvis that Melissa is resting on now. The sides of the hips come around to make the sides of the bowl. You're going to imagine a heavy steel marble in the very center of your bowl. So the goal is to allow the marble to move your pelvis rather than you moving the marble. So she's going to relax, make sure that her legs feel heavy into her hip sockets, and breathe comfortably throughout the exercise. We're going to start just with the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock tilting so that you move into a, a gentle imprint of the lower spine and then a gentle arch of the lower spine. And again, you want to work with this image of allowing the marble to move your pelvis rather than you doing the work. So less is more. So imagine that heavy marble right in the center of your pelvis and take a breath in if you'd like, if that's comfortable, and let the marble roll back towards your belly button. And as the marble rolls towards your belly button, there's just a gentle encouragement or tug of the pelvis towards the floor, making the low back get heavy. Let the marble roll the other way on any breath that you're comfortable. The marble rolls towards the tailbone, gets heavy, and sits in the tailbone, which should encourage the pelvis to rock forward, creating a very gentle and light space under the low back. And let the marble roll back. Feel the weight of the marble. Pull the pelvis back. A way to check in here is to make sure that you're not pressing into the feet, that you're not tone in the gluteal muscles, and that the legs are not gripping. And then just continue, Melissa, to rock back and forth. Now sometimes it's nice to reverse the breath or not to think about the breath at all. Because if you're used to doing Pilates, the inclination is going to be that every time you exhale, you're going to want to tone and do some extra work. So try to relax the breath. Let it be really easy and natural, and in your mind's eye, you're trying to create this image and weight of the marble, pulling the pelvis forward into the tail, and then rolling across the basin of the bowl and drawing the pelvis or the bowl back, so the low back imprints. So do two more. You're also thinking about each time you do the movement to make it easier. And that kind of keeps you on track with not using too much effort. And then to finish, you just let the marble rest in the very center of your bowl. So you're not overthinking the position of the pelvis or the rib cage. You're just relaxing the steel marble heavy in the bowl. So then we take it across the pelvis, typically three and nine, and it's the same exact thing. So any breath, anything that's comfortable, you're welcome to start with an inhale if you're used to that as a preparation. Without moving the ribs, she's just going to have a gentle rocking feeling. And then back to center, the marble rolls across the inside of the bowl and lets the hip tip and get heavy. And then back to center and then rolls across. So think of doing a little less work here and keep the legs relaxed so not, you're not trying to move the pelvis with the legs, but you're not trying to stop the pelvis with the legs either. The legs are really heavy here. Feet heavy, beautiful, that was perfect. Feet are heavy into the mat. Leg bones are just sliding into the hip sockets with a lot of ease. Do a few more here, Melissa. The other ways you can check in with this exercise is just to make sure that you're not 
guiding with the rib cage because that is very common. It's really easy to want to create the movement instead of just allowing the movement to happen. When you allow the movement to happen, working with this specific image, you're really able to go a little deeper. So go ahead and rest in the center now. And then just take a breath here, deep in through your nose, and as you exhale, just let your body get really heavy into the floor. The trickiest part is connecting all four of those points into a pelvic clock. And this is where, because we're doing a little bit more movement, we'll want to effort a little bit more. So just be mindful of that as you start. We'll start with the marble rolling towards the belly button, taking you to, into an imprint, and then let the marbles kind of roll or swish to one side, and then into the tailbone, and then into the other hip, and then finally back. And then what you can ask yourself, what you can do to remind you, is just cut the effort in half right away. So keep going, but do half as much. That's it, perfect. And the breath is very relaxed. If you feel like you need a specific breath, then by all means do that. Otherwise, practice letting the breath go, letting the body breathe as it needs to. A little softer in the ribs. There you go. And come back to center and rest. It's always nice to take a moment to pause between the sides to just check in with your body and really pay attention to what's going on. Typically, we'll start to effort in areas that are our patterns and we won't realize it. So take a big inhale, big cleansing breath, and let everything get heavy as you exhale. And she's just going to go the other way with the same image, starting at 12 o'clock or rolling the ball towards the belly button. And let it shift now to the right side and then into the tail, heavy, soft ribs. So you can use any other kind of image that works for you here some things that might work to keep the ribs soft or to just think about the ribs kind of oozing into the mat so that they're not participating at all. But if you have something better that works for you, you should be using it. The legs are very heavy, the feet are heavy, the palms of the hands are heavy, and the jaw is relaxed. It's another area where we tend to get very tense without realizing it. So finish your last circle and come to center and relax. And typically, after you've completed the series, you can just rest for a moment, maybe with your eyes closed, maybe with a little sway of the legs from side to side, and just take a moment to check in with your body and notice the difference from when you started. And that's it for the deep pelvic clock with imagery. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again.